Hello everyone, this is Meghnath. Welcome back. So we are in module 17 and we will be learning about how to use Goto in C program. So let's get started. So Goto is used to skip some statements in the code and Goto will have a label. So let's see an example of how to use Goto. Let's get started. So as usual, file, new, empty file and uh, this is module 17 so let's save it I'm saving it as uh, 17 dot go to example 1 so now as usual I'll write here include stdivo.h include conivo.h void main and I'll write let's take a simple example printf hello I'll first explain the general syntax of goto. I'm just writing printf hello, hi, and how are you? Printf, are you finding a course useful? Printf, hope you're liking it. And last printf for any sessions send me an email at makenother.gmail.com okay so now I have written some printf statements in this uh, main method so let's put here slash n so, so that we'll see the output in um, this many number of lines so I'm just adding slash n for new line and almost there now let me add slash n now let's say this I'll save it and I'll build this code and let's run the code now I can see here so whatever I have written in the printf uh, statements I'm saying it so hi um, hello hi how are you so are you finding the course useful hope you're liking it for any sessions send a mail to me another gmail.com right so now now what we'll do is let's see how we can use go to I'll just declare a variable here int i is equal to 5 and uh, I'll just put here end printf bye bye now so this is a label this is a general syntax for writing a label in uh, C language so this label name is end you can also write here a b c p q r whatever you want you can write it so i'm just writing it n because that's the last statement here bye bye in that after that end so what i'll do is i will write here um yeah after this i'll write here if i value is 5 i'll write here go to end now if, now what happens is the code flow will be happening like this so first i value is 5 it prints hello, it prints hi, how are you? And then check for the condition. So yes, I value is five, yes, go to end. So that means it'll go to this label. So and it'll print, it'll print bye bye. So this is a general syntax for having adding a label, go to label, and this is how you you actually um, navigate to the go to label. Right? So this is a general syntax. Now, now if I execute this code since i value is 5, the condition got satisfied, this statement will be skipped and it will go to end, that means it will reach here and it will type bye bye. So the output of this code will be hello, hi, how are you and bye bye. So let's save it and build it and run the code. Now I can see here hi, hello, how are you and bye bye. Now let's take for example I'm assigning the value of 4. So when I assign the value as 4 in this case, the statement, uh, these three statements are executed and the condition is checked and the condition is not satisfied because this time it's 4, right? So now it will go to, it will not go to n because the condition is not satisfied. It this um, is, it will go to these statements and these statements will be executed and then it will print by pi. Okay, so now uh, let's save it and the label this go to is just used to skip some statements and reach to this label that's it now when this condition is satisfied it'll just the code flow just goes to this label and the remaining statements are executed and if the condition is not satisfied the statements are executed just one by one and just one by one including this statement will be executed 
right? So let's save it and build it and run the code. So you can see here, now we are getting all these lines. So you don't really need to know more about GoTo and uh, GoToLabel because uh, programmatically it's not good to use GoTo. And that's fine, this is how we use GoTo, right? So in the next module, we will learn, um, we will learn about the very important topic, functions in C language, right? So that's all for now. I hope you're clear with how to um, create a label and how to skip some statements using GoTo. Thank you and see you in the next lecture.